Broke the Yahweh, broke the Yahweh Shai, broke the Yahweh, broke the Yahweh Shai, broke the Yahweh, broke the Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai by Shim, by Godash. The blind city apostles and the elders, great most on Jewel. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You are Kim for Sadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Right on the pre Shaman, this topic is going to be entitled The Dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Which is in the book of uh, First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, the sixteenth. Uh, you can start at the 13th verse on down, pretty much going on, going to the fact that, uh, you know, the brothers that have perished on this side, um, they're going to rise first. I mean, they're going to be in them chariots with the Lord Yahweh Shah on his return. All right, because the scriptures, you know, tells us that all men don't have the same faith. And there's a certain dispensation of faith amongst brothers in this thing. And there's certain brothers that, that have the faith that are going to be faithful unto death. All right, meaning the most I bless some brothers with enough faith to like, look, if that situation arises where you're going to have to die or perish, they're going to do it. And also you have brothers that die and suffer from illnesses and different other diseases and whatever. My, my, you know, it does not necessarily mean they got their head chopped off, but, you know, they could have certain brothers, they lived, you know, died old age, apostles and elders, um, you know, apostles, the, the Iquab, you know, Apostle Masha. Know, they passed away in their age. Um, they weren't put to death by guillotine, but you know, but they were still never the, nevertheless they went to sleep on this side, all right? Because truly the spirit never dies, it just rests. So they went to you know their spirit went to sleep. Okay, they are gonna be with Yahweh Shah when he returns. Now for the brothers when you know we're in the time of uh, the devil coming down having great wrath because he knows his time is short. That's how come he's speeding up the whole Windows 19 mandates and these types of things. He knows his time is short, all right, that what? That he's going to come, all right, he's, he's going to come down with great wrath, and he's going to uh, come in like a flood. And certain brothers, um, their lot might be that to be put to death. Certain brothers' lots are going to be to where spiritual power or divine intervention is going to happen. But either way, whether a man of the Lord, uh, the divine intervention is that of an angel or spiritual power, or... The Lord has the man of the Lord get put to death like John the Baptist. You know, John the Baptist's head was put on the platter. Either way, if you're a man of the Lord, if you're of the elect, okay, you're going to be a part of them chariots, man. So that's that's just something we should keep in mind if that lot does arise, okay? I mean, it's let's, let's say this. It's easier said than done because it's, it's, anybody can say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but we really don't know what the hell we're going to do in the day of the Lord. But, um, you know, we pray if it be the Lord's will. Okay, if I'm in that situation, any of us in that situation, we go out with our integrity. Okay, not fold. Um, the elder Yaikwab, he brought up he brought up a point today at camp where he said um, they did it in this movie, uh, The Kingsman. Right, The Kingsman. Uh, they was looking for people to initiate and be a part of the Kingsman, and one of the tests was they put them on a train track and tied them up and say, "Tell us the Kingsman's code. Tell us when the Kingsman's are." And it was it was real and like they, they, they created like a real life situation they didn't know it was a test you know and the guy was ready to die and just as the train was about to hit him they pressed the button the, the, the tracks went down and the train went over him but every other person that folded they didn't make the cut but he made the cut and it was like he was, was one of few just like they did the same thing in the movie um tenant all right they did the same thing in the movie tenant where uh you know they had him on the track saying they was about to kill him okay and to see what he was gonna do with the last minute, you know, he did, he did the you know, he did the right thing. In other words, he was willing to die before he gave up his men. So Yahweh is gonna do the same thing with us. All right, you have certain brothers that had dreams where they were about to be put to death, and the divine intervention came up where he, he got shot and before he hit the ground, he rose back up. You know, so hey. Um, but look, at the end of the day, we do not we do know for a certainty because the most sides are the man that he should lie. That you are going to have brothers perish for this truth, man. All right? Because the scriptures speak about the witness, witness of those that were beheaded for the name of the Lord. Because the so-called white man, look, at the end of the day, he's going to come to a point where he's just going to straight up say, it's either my way or the highway. Either you're going to get with the program and get the MOTB, the mark of the beast, or RFID microchip, or you're going to be put in a casket. You know, you're going to be, you know, you're going to, you're going to be put to death. And thankfully, through the spirit of God, we have much in shot. We understand that death is not uh, hard. You know, life is hard. Good 
he said, you know, one of his famous lines, and this is it's a true, it's a true saying. Fifty Cent said, "Death gotta be easy because life is hard." And that's that's true, man. You know, because the scriptures tell us. Um, the scripture says, "What death is better than continual sickness and a bitter life." That's in the apocrypha. And most of us in America is living a bitter life. America <laughs> means bitter. All right, it's a bitter life, and. <clears throat> Look, the Apostle Paul said, whatever, I'd much rather be with Yahweh Shai than be on this planet Earth any goddamn way, but we got a job to do. We, we're in the same sentiment. We'd much rather be in a spiritual world at peace than be in this shit. This, this is not living. This is death. We die daily. We sin daily in this wicked-ass place, man. You know? This is death. This is what's hard on, this, on the spirit. You know? When you die, man, the spirit's at peace. There's no more worries and bullshit, you know? So that's the sting of death, yeah, okay, it's a sting, but a sting is for a moment, you know, life is a fucking, it's a longer period of duration of pure hell, which is, again, hell is a state of condition, and that's what most of us are living in, primarily you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because we don't give two shits about the other nations, all right, and, and when you are doing the work of the Lord, that's when the hell even goes up more, because now, you're going against the ways of this world, all right? Let's give a prime example, all right? The Windows 19 mandate. You know, we're not with downloading that on the computer. So life is going to become harder for us because to do our daily tasks is going to be very difficult. You have certain brothers that probably already lost their jobs. In other words, they, they refuse to do their job because they're forcing people to download the Windows 19 on their computer. And brothers say, look, we're not going to download that on our computer, all right? We'd rather just not work Make the, and the Lord find another way or find another means or something like that. So... And it's only going to get harder, again, going against the ways of this world. So this is the difficulty of living, you know? Or, or so, so I can be alive, really, because we're not truly living. We're not going to really be living until we're in the kingdom, man. Because this right here is bullshit. This is not our rest. Michael Tewin said, this place known as America, man. Okay? So going back to the topic at hand, the brothers that perish, Okay? It's not, it's going to be, you know, blink of an eye, boom, next thing you know, you're on the chart. That's how the spirit be having me visualizing it, man. A brother goes down, and as soon as he goes down, he's already walking in the chariot, looking down on the planet Earth with a new body, a big black man with a huge beard, just looking down and a glow to him. I mean, an, an actual glow, like illuminating light off of him, man. Like that, you know? And the scriptures tell you in the book of Psalms, like, look, man, you're going to have people that's going to scoff and talk shit, laugh and mock like they did your shot. Hey, you, you, you're the son of man. Take yourself off the cross. So you're going to have people that talk shit and maybe mock when, when because the scriptures tell you that, man, when they, they mock at the, 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 the uh, when the righteous man perish and all that, roughly paraphrasing, okay, not knowing that that's a beautiful thing in the eyes of the Lord. No, they take his life for foolishness. Not knowing that the angels are rejoicing that they that, the, the, that those particular people stood stiffly for the name, you know, because you're not doing it for nothing. We're doing it to obtain a prize, a crown, man, an, inter, an incorruptible crown. All right, what's that incorruptible crown? Being part of the first fruits, all right, of the governing body of the nation of Israel, man, going through life. All right, to be a friend of Yahweh Now, what the scripture says in the book of Ecclesiasticus. I believe the sixth chapter or the third chapter it says before you get a friend, you have to prove him first. All right, and that's what Yahweh Shah is doing. He's going to prove if we are his friends or not. And a part of that proof, all right, for certain men is going to be that test, that test of life and death. If you truly believe what you lay down your life for me, man. Well, guess what? Yahweh Shah did that for us. All right, starting with the elect, but really the whole nation of Israel. That's the greatest love a brother could do. So certain of us, that's going to be a lot where if you love me, are you love me enough to lay down your life for me? And hey, man, the elect of the Lord are going to do it. You know, I'll say this much. If we have to go, shit, man, a quick death, a quick death is mercy. Whether you get your head chopped off, or you get shot in the head, that's that's quick, man. Look at why you, you know what I'm saying? You're already in a new body. Coming to uh, coming back down to reign with those that remain, meaning the brothers, uh, the lots of the elect men that are gonna, you know, actually see this man's destruction, you know, to the very end. 
we want to see the downfall of our enemy. But at the end of the day, look, man, whether you see it in this particular flesh or you pass away and come back and see it, um, with the chariots, the elect at the end of the day will see it, man. We'll see the destruction of America. We'll see the destruction, two thirds of our people, the ones that uh, were wicked, all right? We're gonna we're gonna see that, man. We'll go one way of the hopeful light. You know? Hey, look, you have these uh, nations out here, these Ishmaelites and all that, that will strap bombs and blow themselves up in the, in the name of a fairy tale, <laughs> an idol. These heathens will blow themselves up for a goddamn idol, man. So how much more so us laying down our lives for the one true power of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, man? They laying their shit down for, you might as well blow yourself up for Santa Claus. It's made up, you know? You know? Strap a, strap a bomb to yourself, right, in the name of Jack Frost or some shit. It's just as ridiculous. Now, we're not going to do no stupid shit like that for the Lord and strap bombs and uh, they, no, we're not, no. That's retarded, you know? Now, we're not doing that. But I'm talking about the act of being willing to literally sacrifice a life for something you believe in. They believe in a fairy tale. We believe in the one true power. You know? So, Esau could try to intimidate the men of the Lord or try to put that, that, that issue of death to try to make you bow down to him. All right? But the men of the Lord ain't gonna do that shit, man. All right, and it wouldn't be the first time this man has tried this because when you go in the book of Maccabees, you had this wicked ass demon, Antiochus, all right, to try to convert us to the Greek ways and the Greek way of living, all right, we're putting certain brothers to death if they didn't uh, do it. And you had the seven sons of that, that uh, you had the seven sons in the book of Maccabees, all right, that were put to death instead of eating pork. Now you niggas. Shit, man, y'all not, not even eating if they don't got bacon on it. See that? You see how you see how things have changed? How drastically Israel have gone the hell off from wanting to die before eating pork to damn near dying if they don't got pork on the sandwich, man. Completely rebellious, man. Completely uh, gone the hell off. So two thirds. That's why two thirds have to go. They have to get two thirds. Have to get flushed down the toilet, man. And that's what Yahweh Hashem is going to do with the missiles. Okay? So that, this is the time that we're in. This is the time that we're approaching, man. The time where Yahweh Hashem is going to try our faith. Cast some of us into prison. Alright? Hell, man. Have brothers truly test us, man. Truly try us. What does it say in the book of Proverbs 25 and 4? Take away the dross from the silver, and they shall come forth a vessel for the fire. How do you take away dross from silver? Impure metals, all right, from uh, imprecious metals, from a precious metal, you do it with fire. And that's what, that's, that's what it is to be baptized in Yahweh Shah, because John the Baptist baptized in water, but Yahweh Shah baptized in fire. That's a trial. Tribulation, hell, persecution, afflictions, all that. So, when the most I put fire to his men, and they overcome it, for him shall, shall, shall be a crown of life. Shall be a crown, man. Okay? When Yahweh shall go around pulling the crowns on our heads, he's going to go around. This is your galaxy here. This is your continent here. This is your sector of the nebula here. Rulership, man. And that that portion is going to be your portion. As King David said, uh, bless the Lord and take away my life. That's going to be your portion, man. And, and Yahweh is in the fathers. Yahweh's house is many mansions. And those many mansions are being created reserved for his elect which have been chosen before the world was even formed man you can't make yourself a part of the elect whoever the elect is is predestined whoever is whoever's meant to perish in this truth and inherit the kingdom of heaven is already predestined we just have to play these things out man 
That's how come we say we hope, we hope, we hope that Yahweh Hashem Yahusha makes him, make us of his elect. We hope Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, all right. Uh, we hope Yahweh Hashem Yahusha uh, deliver us, deliver us, man. Look at that, I'm gonna get more praises. Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, Mind to the apostles and the elders with great millstone, true wealth, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there. The Apocalypse is a document, and do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom, brothers.